Good morning, folks. We're starting with the measurement mission animation from Storm Helen atop Madagascar. We will come back to the storm during our space weather portion. The Ubinas volcano joined Merapi and the Aleutian Islands in Alaska as having volcanic upticks this week. It was a mid-sized eruption there. Tons of articles out today about the Arctic sea ice. Rather than rehash those, let me give you some perspective from the folks who really know the ice, the NSIDC. Despite what you'll read today, this is not settled science or ultimately predictable, as evidenced by Antarctica's blatant refusal to melt as ordered by the world leaders, setting new high ice records on top. South America is a crapshoot for thunderstorms today, higher than average moisture content overhead, even for the rainforest. Forecasts show thunderstorm potential over half the continent, but almost 100% of Brazil. There are two storm lines coming from those southern lows. One appears stuck between nations and the other is set to crest Tasmania by tomorrow. I've got the wind power overlay on the wind map here for Europe. The strongest weather is still on the southeastern portion of the low, the southwestern coastlines of the continent, bringing heavy rain and strong winds to Portugal and España. That's the orange you see on Europe's weather alarm. The Americas are still seeing lows boxing in the coastlines, but the top concern tonight will be for severe thunderstorms and a slight chance of damaging hail or even a tornado. You can really see how the two opposing air masses slam together while they work out major temperature, pressure, and moisture difference in no more than a 15-mile war zone along the convergence line that's a lot of energy released to be felt by those standing below. Kicking it to space weather, solar wind telemetry is all but totally calm. Slight speed elevation, but no geomagnetic disruptions of any kind. As we wait for the coronal holes to face Earth tonight, we've lacked big quakes for two days, even with more moderate rumbling in the U.S. and across the globe. These openings are of minor power, so the earthquake condition index is moderate only. Let's come back to Madagascar for that storm. Helen has weakened significantly, and not just since coming on shore. The space weather has died down on the sun. No flaring for three days that matches that which sparked us to predict an original intensification of the storm days ago. The Uyen system goes both ways there. However, we do expect interplanetary shock waves from coronal mass ejections to begin impacting our magnetosphere tonight, and this will either ramp Helen back up or form a new storm. If we see more flaring, that could get really intense, and the sunspots are acting like they want to play. That central grouping got bigger and complex where you see the colors mixing in the middle. Also, the incoming group has a diabolical magnetic situation, but with some slightly smaller umbral cores. Most of you know about our new project at this point. We bought the RV and are going to hit the road, do the news every day, mobile style, while trying to come shake your hands. But we also started a Kickstarter campaign to try to take the mobile observatory to another level. You guys rocked it in four days, hitting the goal, and we're now just one week from the end date of the campaign. If you want your name on the RV, there's just seven days left. And for those who already have a spot, this is your one week reminder that the end of the Kickstarter campaign is when we will send out the request for what name you want on the RV. Yours, your mom's, your son, your business, website, almost anything you want within reason. And thank you all for the support. We'll see you on the road and watch for that email in about a week. Space weather impacts are imminent. Earthquake condition index re-ramps briefly later today, and the sunspots have the potential for more flaring. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.